I knew the secret of putting feelings into songs because I'd been taught it by Neil Young and Paul Simon and Bob Dylan yes. how to yeah. how, how to take your deepest feelings and just when you when you sing a melody that's that's rich in those feelings that melody becomes beautiful. It's not just a matter of thinking what's a clever melody. It's like the melody has to be fueled by your feelings and then it becomes this magical thing that can make other people feel something. I wasn't I wasn't upset about it. I was just like wow, you know, there's this other incredible story that we weren't told which is far far more incredible than all these miracles they talk about in the Bible, you know. It's like, you know that 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 life evolved through this very kind of simple mechanism that Darwin worked out. And it's such a simple, when, once you understand it, it's such a simple mechanism, but it explains everything. And it's just like, I mean, that was the most um, exciting thing I ever learned, I guess. The most exciting intellectual experience I've ever had was grasping Darwin's theory of evolution. The hockey, the hockey coach brought along this video this is like back in the days of vhs videos and we had a video <laughs> video machine and at uh, after the bra he put the video on and it was it was um simon and garfunkel live in central park i think that con concert must have happened in 1984 or something might have, it might have been a bit earlier but it was this amazing thing and i'd never really i didn't really know their music at all and it was just i just like was completely gripped by these songs which were speaking a completely different language to me from the 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 songs that i was hearing at at parties in high school at about that time my my cousin who i was best friends with had said to me we should get guitars you know like <laughs> it'd be like if we can you know sing 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 at briars and things and it will be a good way to impress girls and so we both went <laughs> off and bought guitars and then and then my parents gave me the paul simon complete songbook for my birthday and and it had these little pictures of the chords above the words, and so I learned the, basically <laughs> learned to play the guitar from this book. Um, and of course, I was loved, but it was a very mixed bag, and it was there were mixed messages. And you know, uh, yeah. as a child, I was loved for being clever, but I wasn't loved for being angry or for being sad, or you know. And I think mm. you are made to feel as an infant that every emotion you have is all right. Then you're going to grow up not feeling ashamed of anything you feel. But if you grow, if you have the opposite. Then you grow up. So how I was when I came out of my teenage years was I was feeling this sort of sadness and 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 I felt terribly ashamed of the fact that I was sad. I was feeling depressed and feeling terribly ashamed of being depressed. Why should one feel ashamed of being depressed, you know, or sad? Yeah. Like that's something that I was was programmed into me. It's not, except I didn't understand that it was programmed into me, and I just thought obviously I'm somehow just weak or lazy or bad you know and so that just feeds mm -hmm. into that thing and you go around feeling like you're crap mm -hmm. 